Hey YouTube, it is June 24th and we're doing a quick truck update because there's a lot of things that have changed and there's a lot more that's happening in the next two weeks so I figured I may as well do a before video. Uh, right off the bat, I don't believe I covered this at all, the strobe grill lights are gone. I had those mounted, they were the uh, Uniforms Warehouse WL08, those are gone. I put the T3 grill lights in the same holes and got brackets for them. There will be a VHF antenna mounted right there. Right now that's just a placeholder, just keeping things uh, covered up. I also just wanted to see how I would like the look of it, and I like it very much. Uh, yesterday I had new rims put on because the old ones were rotted and they were warped. So the center caps kept popping off and I couldn't get anything to stay on them. So that was also done. So these are aluminum 16 by 7s, which they are way nicer. And the big in, the back rack's gone. Because this truck, she's going out to get $4,000 worth of body repair. The bed is getting replaced, the tailgate's getting replaced, the rocker panels under the truck are getting replaced, and the cab corners are getting replaced. And they're also going to take a look at the bottom of the doors and see if they can do anything about that. And the reason for all of that is back here, and you can see kind of all the little pockets where there's just rust markings or discoloration. That's what the bed looks like. I happened to notice this when I was throwing some pallets in. It's a little soft right here. I saw the rip. I pulled it up and I can see the ground. Okay. See? Kind of see my boot, I think. Yeah, you can kind of see my boot through there. So that's all the way out. So it leaves tomorrow morning. But this is as it sits with uh, nothing on it, no bed rails, no tunnel cover, no toolbox, no back rack, no antennas, so to speak, just the one over there. But the only thing that's going to be saved, the only things that are going to be saved off of this bed are the fender flares and the mud flaps and the tail lights. That's it. Everything else is going to be another bed that's getting repaired actually right now. Uh, they're going to paint it, match the truck, it's going to get a new tailgate, the bumper is going to stay the same. And then they're gonna do the rockers and doors and cab corners, as I said. We're also working on the console. So there's a couple of different things we may do. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to remove the center bench for a couple of them because we just can't find anything that fits into here. I was gonna have a custom console made up, but uh, that didn't work out too well. So we're either going to remove this dash panel up here and put the console in there, or this bench is gonna come out and another uh, mid-section console is gonna go in in its place, similar to the F-150. But other than that, it's cleaned out, and tomorrow morning it gets dropped off for all the body work. It still sounds amazing. Uh, I also am considering doing uh, new exhausts because the straight pipes are not very uh, friendly at 2 in the morning, and it's cold, so that may be a thing that happens. But this is kind of just an update on the truck. It's going to get the light bar on while the uh, bed's off, so once the new bed's on, I'm going to go back over there, wire up the uh, lights in the back again, and we're going to put the light bar on. We're not going to wire the light bar up yet. But the edge strobe bar is going back on. And then all the plumbing for that and wiring, the antenna lines, they're going into the truck as well, all at one shot. So that way, when we finally do go to install the console and run power into the cab, all the hard stuff from the back is done. We just have to run the uh, power leads into the cab. And that front antenna needs a new coax connection because it doesn't have anything on it. So, other than that, that's the uh, end of this video. Stay tuned for more Aerodynic updates. I'm just waiting on the domes from Federal Signal at this point. That's 
it. Everything else is done in the bar. I have the filters waiting to go on, but uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to throw it on the truck like I thought I would be before I put the edge bar on because it was supposed to be put the LP on, the uh, blue LP that was on there, and then put the aerodynic on in between the edge because I wanted to run the aerodynic for a bit, but that's not going to happen because the edge is going right on after the box is replaced. So again, thanks for watching and see y'all around.